Hello, everybody. My name is Skybound. Hi, Flux. And Tip Top. And yeah, we're back for another reaction. This is a little bit different this time. We're going to be reacting to the pilot episode of Lackadaisy. Mm, um, we know no next to nothing about this. We just know a lot of people have been reacting to it recently. And uh, the, probably the one thing we do know is that a lot of the staff behind the making of this were also the same staff that worked on the Has Been Hotel pilot. So really, really good, really good credentials here. I only know that because he's told me that, and I've not said I have only seen. Well, yeah, I recommended we react to this just because I'm aware of the, yeah. the staff behind and it, and you know I... we love the Has Been Hotel pilot. So I... if a lot of the same staff worked on this, this should be something special. Yeah, and that's the thing I've seen thumbnails. Yeah, but, we know that cats are involved. Yes, we don't know the context uh, or... You yeah, know. you stole my fucking line. <laughs> I was going to say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, that was... Yeah, so so yeah. cats cats are involved in some way. Apart from that, there's not really a great deal I know about it. I did have a cursory look yeah. at the at the channel yeah. that uploaded this, which, by the way, is also called Lackadaisy, so check them out, give them a subscribe. Um, you know actually, their videos... We Sorry. know this has been in the works for several years as well. Yeah. We, we know it started out as a Kickstarter and it's just built and built since then. Their, their so. videos have gone back like seven years, but the seven years old videos are like old patron streams from presumably when they were on Patreon or something. So, yeah, back when they were trying to get funded, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, so it's pretty crazy how long this project has kind of been in the works, as it were. Very, very kind of indie kind of vibes to it, just on the basis of how it came about. Yeah, we yeah. Yeah. Let's just hope that the uh, the time spent uh, is reflected in the quality of yeah. the overall product. So, I, um, presume so. I mean, it's already sitting at several million views within just a couple of weeks. So it's yeah. obviously something people will consider worth watching. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I guess let's not delay any further and let's 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 watch this thing. Um, yeah, let's get this. So started. yeah, starting this in three, three two, two, one, five. go. What have you got me? Oh, I see out there. I'm looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> okay. So, warning. But much shorter list of warnings than Hell of a Boss. Which yeah. I mean, it's somewhat encouraging, at least. We know it's probably going to be a bit tamer. I mean, yeah, it's probably going to not be <laughs> as extreme as uh, Hell of a Boss. Yeah. I mean, it's... St. Louis, Missouri, 1927. Oh, okay. Oh, it's in the 20s. So Prohibition is in full so effect. Like. Prohibition. Okay. Just over 10 years. Well, no, just under 10 100 years. 100 years, yeah. Yeah, 1920s. No, 96 oh, years ago. Yeah. Oh, it's animation style. The grainy film effect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm immediately impressed with the animation. Yeah. Mm. Is old the thing to call what rings the vernal heart of Wester lore? Hmm. Brings us I know that this is kind of a standard bard thing to kind of speak in poems and stuff, but yeah, it is poetic, yeah. ever, ever since I played Genshin Impact, any time I hear characters like this, my brain just immediately goes to Venti, but um, yeah. That that will be a reference that's lost on anyone except people who are just fucking gacha weebs like me. So, yeah. Mm. Also, I know that several of the staff behind the has been pilot worked on this. So I think I've identified one of them immediately. I recognise that voice actor anywhere. That's Michael Kovach, the voice of Angel Dust in the, uh, in the has been pilot. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Unicast, for letting me hear his original voice, so I'd recognise it immediately. Yes, I'm, I'm loving the styling on this. Yeah. <laughs> but sports yeah. for imps, not elderly. Yeah. So, if there's a name for migrant mass of veteran frivolity, it snakes through seas of prairie grass and groves of summer sassafras. Sassafras. Flows as I've heard that word before. It's a very old one. I can't remember what it means exactly. I don't know what it means. It's quite... It's quite nice to colour schemes. Oh. Are they grave digging? <laughs> Is it? Well, it's prohibition. Maybe it's a maybe it's some kind of secret stash. Ah. 
They wouldn't have mentioned prohibition if it wasn't something to do with it, I would yeah. guess. I'm not sure lookouts are supposed to make such a ruckus anyway. Oh, he's a lookout. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, this is prohibition, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Underground stash. And he's dead. Don't worry, cats always yeah. land on there. Uh, I... <laughs> I don't think he's that good of a cat, clearly. Yeah, clearly not. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I provide the ambiance. Baby face. Ambiance. Uh, wait, that's muscle. <laughs> Goat getter. <laughs> Okay, so his name's Rocky. Yeah. That 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 is a word. <laughs> it's it's definitely not German, but it's a word. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, they are strong carrying the coffin like that. Did you see they were both they, they were both carrying the middle vibe from this guy? Mm. Again, I'm guessing if they pointed out prohibition, I'm guessing there's not a body in there. Uh. My guess would be that it's full of booze. Mm. Don't tell me you aren't having a good time showing off your shoveling skills for hotsy totsy over here. Okay, can I see the like the What the the sketch lines? Yeah, the sketch lines. I was thinking the same thing. Don't know. <laughs> What? Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, just leave him to carry it. Settle down, cousin. The spirits are all bottled up. <laughs> Hundred years past, Burke and Hare were up to much worse. And things turned out just fine for them. Didn't they hang them? Details, Freckle. Details. Now show me your <laughs> skills. <laughs> It. Bottles. Called it. Better still, Canadian whiskey. Oh, it's prohibition. Yeah, they're moonshine. That's what I've been yeah. saying the whole time. Oh, look, there's a cars of moonshine. Yeah, they're moonshine runners. Well, look at the cars. Well, that's definitely a moonshine car because it's got that secret compartment. Yeah, and they're supposed to be fat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is bright. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's because it's not that. Yeah. Oh, jeez, it's the fuzz. <laughs> well, 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 here come the fuzz. <laughs> my, my. Okay, is that... Is... Yes. Oh, okay, that's a, uh, that's a BAR. Okay. okay, clearly not. Clearly the it won't be, be that maniacal. Rival gang, I'm guessing? That's my presumption anyway, because there were plenty of gang rivalries in the Moonshot yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah, but by the way, that rifle she's firing is a uh, BAR. It's a World War Two era um, light machine gun. Which wait, this is 1927. They said, did it even exist yeah. at that point? Um, that is a good it's World War One, but pre World War Two. Oh, it. I can't remember exactly what year it was created, but I mean that shape is definitely a BAR. <laughs> Oh, right. V-I-E-R? B-A-R. Bra Browning I'm Automatic Rifle, I believe. A what? I believe it stands for Browning Automatic Rifle. Ah, uh, right, okay. Oh, when he was searching there, I, I and saw And what have we got here? Uh, that go looks like a classic Tommy gun to me. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were going to do the... Um, the Caravan Palace thing. All right. 
well, when he was rifling through and he and he and he picked up that record that was lying there, I thought he was going to do the full Shaun of the Dead and start slinging them out the well, back. Well, I was thinking more like, um, oh god, you know, yeah. Cameron Palace did a, a full music video. Yeah. One of the videos involved like fighting for anywhere. So this is. The... I feel like we might be missing a bit of dialogue here. Yeah, it's mostly a fight scene at the moment. But oh, oh. Yeah, that is a classic kind oh, of a gangster Wait, he was a Tommy gun. At the start of this. Oh Holy shit! Oh, oh, have they killed the boss? I don't know. The boss was in the back, wasn't he? Oh jeez, he swallowed a bit of the glass. But you want to take over driving back there? No. Especially now that you have alleviated us of our windshield. Oh, you don't like yeah. how we play? How about you stop spectating and throw in your share? Or do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times? M1911. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jeez, Christ. Do not give this guy a gun. He goes from meek to just maniacal in a split second. Maybe that's exactly why you should give him a gun. Mm. <laughs> Depending on who you want him to target. Long time. Yeah. Right here, I'm guessing. Bro, literally. <laughs> All you need to do is, like, Just swerve turn. left and right a little oh. bit. Throw his aim off in some way. It's an M1911. It's a pistol. When you're driving away, the bullet drop is going to kick in very quickly. <laughs> you don't yeah, need yeah. to worry about it. Are they drove into a quarry I saw from the sign. Yeah, okay. Again, the cat landing on his face. <laughs> it's... All right. Oh, okay. Do you think we're safe? Uh, you 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 all right, bro? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's just that there's a, hot, a fire, a burning hot fire. In, uh, uh, in, yes. In the engine compartment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, did that guy on the left have like a, a Luger pistol? <laughs> I don't know. You 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 know you know more about guns than we do. Yeah, clearly. Man, you have BB gun replicas, don't you, or something like that? Uh, yeah, I have. I have a well, you've got, bunch well, you've of. You've got the history of you know a bit of army interest, so you know. Okay. So he knows his way around this place from the looks of things. I wonder if this is their hideout. Uh, okay. mind you, if, mind you, if the what, what's her name, Miss Pepper, didn't know to go left, maybe that isn't. They've just improvised that. Yeah. Uh, oh, why is it? <laughs> oh, so it's lit up the area so you can at least see them. At least. Mm. Oh, the I guess so. Uh, my, my guy. Oh, is is it like a train or a cable car or something? I mean, if it's a quarry, I guess it's some kind of heavy machinery. Yeah. <laughs> Demolitions. You said there was a pistol in here somewhere. There's always one wedged in the seat. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a gun. <laughs> that's that's. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, what happened to you that made you hate fun? I'll take care of that. <laughs> yeah, not even phased by bullet heading for him. Just I'll take care of that. I mean, it is a very tiny pistol. Mm. Well, yeah, it's still a lethal one if it hits, though. If it hits. 
The problem with pistols that small is that they basically That's lose accurate. momentum very quickly. Mm. E even the range they were at right there would have been a stretch. This guy being all dark and mysterious, he, he comes across as some kind of kingpin. He he actually comes off more as like a, a military veteran to me. Like the, the way yeah. he's kind of... Because, I mean, the implication is that these guys are a rival gang of some kind. Yeah. He definitely has a more kind of disciplined way of weapon handling. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hi. No, 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 no. No. Yep. Yeah. Oh, counting off the Ooh. shots. Yeah. So he knows he's out. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh. I mean, yeah, definitely heavy equipment. Oh, it's a, it's it's a digger. Oh, it's a quarry. Of course, he's gonna have dynamite. Yeah. We're getting Joker vibes from this. Yes, I am quite getting. If you... Putting on a show and causing destruction. Definitely very Joker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Yeah. I mean, he did seem a bit unhinged right from early on. Yeah. I mean, they all seem a little bit unhinged. Yeah. Apart from him, yeah, he is he is very well kind of. Oh, uh, <laughs> and again on his face. Oh, I oh Jesus! I mean, thank God that thank God that mansion is there. Oh, it's a water tower. Oh, it's a water tower. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the the cat's worst enemy, water. Yeah, yeah water. <laughs> water. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now he's screwed because he's he's pretty much dead now. Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. Is he out of ammo as well? Interesting Turn. the ticking of the the ticking of the clock every time. Yeah. I wonder if there's some significance to that. Possibly. Yeah. Oh, are my eyebrows still on? Uh yep. Aces. Here, Freckle. I got you a souvenir. Oh, what? I mean, it wasn't right, lit, lit, but <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I feel like I would be a little worried about having just a stick of dynamite placed on my lap, even if it wasn't lit. Yeah. Shit, you look disappointed. <laughs> the the <Yeah>. ear twitch, <laughs> the annoyed ear twitch. I mean, this, this very much, you know, smacks of like, you know, Moonshine running kind of gang warfare, yeah. which I know was very much a thing back in those days. Yeah. Oh, that bar was called Little Daisy. I wonder if that's related to the title. Probably related to the booze. Legacy of consummate artistry and bold innovation. Done in by a scarf. The comic end that makes the tragedy, doesn't it? Yeah. Speaking of tragedy. We got an old supplier back. The funeral home. Still, it's not the same without you. And that feeling that all of this was ours. <sighs> Used to be we could drive a whole convoy of trucks in. I like how smoky the background looks as well. Yeah, yeah 20s Missouri, yeah. Back when it was all still cold yeah, running. Digging for scraps. Well, however unbecoming, Atlas, that's my cue. 
down. Well, I forget when Prohibition ended, but I feel like it was maybe early 30s. Mm. Like towards the end, you know, the law must have been clamping down harder and harder. Yeah. Yeah. The door, sweetheart. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. You're a butler, not a simp. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> So this is like a speakeasy? Is that what they call them? Well, I don't think that's what it said, didn't it? Or, or at least the implication was there. Ah, oh, right, the difficult business of a business. You could certainly be of some help. Except I'm mm. supposed to be a pillar of the community, bearer of industry, upstanding citizen, you know? <laughs> he said, mm. bent over his illicit beverage. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. I wasn't sure you were alive. Yeah. Shouldn't you be up on stage playing? Who? That guy? Yeah. I'm yeah. You work. Shall I serenade you personally? Uh, once I've had a few more illicit beverages. <laughs> yeah. one of those too. I'll have one of those illicit beverages, please. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. Yeah. Victor, I know it's an adjustment, but the bartender's got to look like someone the patronage can tell their troubles to. <laughs> I'm a confidant, less of a yeah. coroner. Muscle man. I'm smiling, honey. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a smile. We'll work on it. <laughs> Sorry about the coffee. It's... <laughs> well, look what the Mississippi said. Stop playing my life with incidental music! Surprised. Rocky, it. sweetie, you are nothing if not an exhausting, incomprehensible surprise. Thank it. you! This was supposed to be it. the real McCoy. Let's see if that's the surprise. Yeah. Probably not. It's probably just mud. Mm. It's probably going to be know, absolutely I mean, like, it, it it's looks gonna be like cheap, like weak rubbish. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> it'll certainly start your engine. Which is to say, <clears throat> it beats radiator. Tastes like gas. Crisp, full bodied, reminiscent of oak wood. Coffin varnish. Yeah, that that would be it. Sunset Rose cocktail. Sunset Rose yeah. cocktail? That sounds good. But it's not a cocktail. <laughs> you, then you should know what it is. I have very good an idea. That's a reaction if it didn't all. Cat noises. Oh fuck's sake! Yeah. <laughs> I, I get the feeling I don't care anymore. We got for our money, honey. You look like you took a bath in the red. Oh, I could probably ring somewhere out of my coat for you. There was a minor incident. Incidences. <sighs> the lacks of wood. <laughs> oh, just some spent ammo and desecrated graves. Fractured signage. Minor flooding, lots of structural damage. Uh, we may have Hell yeah, structural damage, my favorite. But dynamite and heavy machinery are marvelous problem solvers. A old sport. Oh. Dynamite. And the car is fine. Yeah. I fixed it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks that fixed that to me. <laughs> Okay, it's a violin. Okay, we have confirmation. Oh. I know you did your best, honey, but we can't keep running ourselves ragged and into the red to bring Omega. What I mean is trash. I don't see how this. Something I notice is when it does close-ups, it, it's not like solid lines. It's more like almost kind of graphite lines. You know what I mean? It's kind of. It. It looks almost more like pencil lines when they do close-ups. 
Yeah. Kind of I mean, it, it is kind of reminiscent of traditional animation. Yeah. I mean, the Not as fluid, I'll grant you, but right, then, you know, right. it will have all still been done by a computer. We go light in the mood. Uh, about the dynamite and machinery. <laughs> you eh? Mr. Sable? Uh, right. eh? Cheers. <laughs> was was he the quarry owner? I would. Despite how horrible it is, like you say, having enough of it, you won't care. Considering how he's drinking, I think that was his his um his quarry. <laughs> yeah, it, I might have missed. I'd have to look back see if it says Sable Quarries or something. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, look when it zooms in, it's much more like pencil marks than yeah, yeah. than like solid curls. Song? Or is it just kind of generic, like 1920s? I mean, that's the thing about um, cleanup animation is that if you get different animators doing the cleanup on different scenes, the style always looks a smidge different. Yeah. Mm. Oh, is that the end? Oh, oh. Oh, there's still you know, some time, actually. There's still some time. Is it just credits, or...? Oh. I, I guess we can watch it maybe, all the way through. Maybe. We'll just watch through the credits, because... Oh, yeah, yeah, you never know. I mean, this is a different series. It's not like this is Hell of a Boss, where you know there's not usually an after, yeah. you know, an after scene. There might be something here post-credit. Yeah, it's possibly. Yeah. Sorry, microphone. Sorry, microphone fell over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch it! I didn't touch it, it just fell. <sighs> That thing doesn't work from now on. I know. Um, sound designer him. by M. Gavere. That's a, that's a great name yeah. for for a sound oh, yeah. designer wow. that was probably working on guns. Wow, it keeps going. That is a lot of animators. Yeah. Holy. Oh, that's all clean up. Wow. That is a lot of clean up. Production yeah. cats. Production. Um, ca oh, like production babies. Yeah. yeah. You're aware of production babies. Yeah. Like, it's babies that were born to the crew during the production. Yeah. I mean, production cats must be all the ones that. Or the cats that people got during the production of this. Or, or just yeah, cats well, that, that the people who worked on it own, yeah. like, before yeah, or probably. after. Before or during. Oh, boom. Boom. <laughs> it okay. just reminds me a little bit of, like, um, Mega Meme of this. Like, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, we got post-credits. Oh. Connect me to Mr. Sweet, please. Oh, this is the... the dark guy the vehicle has been disabled and on the whole the evening has not gone according to plan Let me see if I... rapid unscheduled disassembly okay his name's mordecai yes yes <laughs> <laughs> however mr sweet it seems it, it seems we have a more considerable problem at hand. What, someone mussed your hair? You got some dirt on you? As a matter of fact. <laughs> but more to the point, one of our suppliers appears to be double dealing. The stragglers from Lackadaisy, of all things. They're clumsy. And oh, so Lackadaisy is like the name of the speakeasy or the organization. That's a real liability. And I can only stave off so much heat the higher ups before this whole city starts smoldering. Oh, oh so he must be the kingpin. Yeah. So Mordecai is kind of the uh, specialist, I guess. Mm, kind of like the, you know, the lower higher order. Mm. I guess you could call him like a lieutenant. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Kind of mid rank. Yeah. 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 So oh, there's your swing music. Well, yeah. yeah, I was wondering how long it would take for <laughs> swing music to appear. As soon as, you, as soon as it came up that it was in the 20s, I knew you were expecting swing music. Well, yes, I'd be extremely disappointed if it didn't. I love electro swing, so the original swing music is... Um, oh, I like that 20s Disney-style animation on oh, the yeah. credit there. That, that almost oh, looks like Fallout. <laughs> world, in spite of it all. Oh, yeah. wow, so a lot of this was done during lockdowns. Oh wow! I mean, what else have you got to do, done, really? This been going for like seven years, so I guess a lot of this would have gone on through lockdown, yeah, including a lot of the major animation. Fucking hell! Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, that was 
that was that. Um, I think that was very, actually very, very cool. A very cool kind of environment to uh, yeah. to take place in. Premise as far as the pilot. Went, I mean, I think the animation was fantastic. I'm definitely going to have to go back and watch over that again. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot because there's missed, a lot but... of stuff that we've missed. And um, we don't really know these characters yet, so we didn't really know what to expect. It was difficult to know when to pause to take it in. And it didn't help that we had a bit of an improvised system involved. Yes. Because this was a bit Uh for various reasons. I'm not going to get into that right now. Mm. Um, But yeah, I mean, I can easily see there's a lot of promise with this. I yeah, think. it's certainly setting up a universe. I mean, the, I mean, the speakeasy, you know, the whole moonshine speakeasy, it's something that's fallen out of favor in, you know, <clears throat> entertainment in general. We haven't seen anything of this genre for quite a while. What? Um, the well, Prohibition uh, yeah, era so kind of stuff in general. Um, well, I mean, plenty of stuff is relatively, you know, well yeah. used, but, you know, I've not seen anything of this kind of thing for a while. Easy, though. I've never heard that term before. Speakeasy is, is like, I think it was like a, it, it was a term during Prohibition that was basically I've for um, secret drinking establishments. Yes, yeah, secret pubs, oh, secret bars, back yeah. when alcohol was banned in the Prohibition. The, the idea was that you could also kind of speak to um, either members of the community or just the bar staff, just yeah, speak out your problems, like speakeasy. Speak without fear of being listened to. Yeah. yeah and, and without fear of being, you know, spied on. Oh right, because that's the thing. I I didn't even know. Um, I, I've heard the term speakeasy, uh, but I've never knew what it actually meant. Yeah, because yeah. it was yeah. Because then when because I forget exactly what year it was. Sometime in the twenties when they they brought in the Eighteenth Amendment and brought in prohibition, which banned alcohol in a lot of uh, you know pretty much across America. Mm. Yeah, but alcohol was that. always a big money spinner. So obviously yeah. a lot of a lot of bars and such they didn't want to um they didn't want to kind of shut down their their business so they started working underground essentially so yeah. they kind use... of myth actually i don't know if it's true but there's kind of a myth that actually prohibition was you know so you know heavily p- people were so heavily against it that alcohol consumption actually went up during prohibition yeah i mean that's not surprising because the, the, this is a similar reason why they've started legalizing certain, new, you know, drugs and things in America. Because yeah, because so many people get around it. It's not worth trying to make it illegal. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. It was actually making it worse because, as you've seen from what they were there, they said it was something they didn't even know what it was. The stuff they were drinking. The the problem and with banning stuff. Well, I was just about to get on to this. Some of that stuff wasn't properly filtered. And if you've got things yeah. like vodka, that was the other. Dangerous. Yeah, that was the other reason why they stopped Prohibition is because so many people were dying because people were attempting to brew it themselves. Yeah, yeah exactly. in fact, there's the whole thing of um, of bathtub moonshine, as um, you've probably oh, yeah. heard of, that, that's actually illegal to, to make in the US states because it can actually quite literally make you blind with how strong yeah. it can be. Um, improperly, that's what I was yeah, saying. A lot of it improperly brewed had methanol in it, yeah. also known as Pink Lady, which made you blind. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. That's what I'm saying, because certain alcohols are you need to filter a lot. Yeah. That's why um, vodka goes on about how many times it's filtered. Yeah. Because it's the, the, and this is the same thing. It's basically if you use the wrong stuff, you can do it really badly. I mean, you can make your own. But bit, yeah, like you say, the, the prohibition gangs. Be but very yeah, careful. But yeah, this this kind of paints a vivid picture because the prohibition gangs, you know, they were, at, you know, it's just the same as gang warfare nowadays. They were in competition and rivalry with each other. Yeah. And so. For- Instead of for other people's custom. Now there is something also out to take into account, and I know this from let's just say stuff I've had to deal with. But but basically, a lot of these illicit business, and this would have been illicit business, actually funded terrorism as well, Mm. because that's basically what a lot of uh, illicit businesses nowadays. Oh, yeah, a lot of it was linked to actual organised crime organisations. You're yeah. thinking a classic kind of Godfather mafia yeah, kind of. Well, I mean, just yeah. I mean, if you want a modern day example of this, just look at Mexican cartels. Exactly. Mm. That that pretty much kind of, you know, they're they're not just a gang. They're like they're almost like a a whole army at this point, just because exactly. they're, a, they're a whole. They're basically they're basically the same as a as a big multi. You know multi-million national business just on the wrong side of the law yeah and that's the and that's the thing that's why they use these illicit stuff to basically fund yeah illegal illegal substances illegal anything 
is mm. a, an incredible money spinner. Like black market, yeah, black market incredibly, supplies incredibly, are incredibly yeah, profitable this, because yeah, of the also, risk. As, as this pilot. As this pilot illustrates, though, it is also an incredibly shady and dangerous world to be involved and, in. And that's the yes. thing when it comes to this sort of thing. When they basically use this money to pay, pay for so this is they were basically using this to pay for other activities, essentially. Now there would have been certain situations where you had people who were legit business people who were basically having to do this just to keep themselves afloat. Mm. Especially in the twenties, just after the after the Great Depression, yeah, after yeah. the Great Depression. So you would have been stuck between doing the right, right thing or basically being able to live. Yeah, and that's the, a hard situation when people have to choose between living and basically yeah. doing the right thing. They will most times stick with living. Yeah. Well, to spin a positive out of it, at least you know that the, there's there's one good thing. I'm sure a lot of our American viewers would agree that. To, you know, prohibition did give birth to that is maybe a good thing, and that's NASCAR. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the thing the thing is though is this is what, it, it, but because of them basically making this like uh, like illegal, it also made it worse for people. That's the thing, not yeah. better, and that's why they both. Yeah, because okay. killing people, having to do it themselves, yeah, and also because of tax. Yeah, I but mean, it's because tax it's, reasons, it's, it's, it's the, a thing, really. It, it always comes down to. Yeah, the end yeah. Of the day. it is a thing, really, and I'm saying this directly to our American viewers. I mean, you know, God bless any of you that are still watching. Yeah, uh, prohibition was the the you know the the 18th Amendment was the one that brought in prohibition. Oh, and, oh I know what you're going to say. Yeah, and they found out that uh, it wasn't working, so they got rid of the 18th Amendment. So you can actually get rid of an amendment to the American Constitution if you find it's maybe not working too well. Yeah, I, they, I think they, just they, in they the interest of not alienating our American viewers, I want to stop us right there. I'm saying that as satire. I'm saying that as satire, mate, but that will uh, save yeah. areas of the US. Having guns is something they may need because they're involved. Hey, that, 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 oh, that came out of your mouth. That. That came out of your mouth, not mine. I'm just yeah, going guys, to let's. This, I I want to get off this it. topic. So what I am going yeah. to mention yeah, as yeah, well that I really topic. actually loved about this. Oh, hang on, sorry. You you want to get you want to get off this topic, Mister? I can identify every gun in this animation. <laughs> I, yes, <laughs> history is not the same as politics. <laughs> um, yes, but but anyway, something I did love about this is the central theme was obviously like the, all the characters were like cats or or I think yeah. cats yeah. of some kind. I really love the cat personalities that they also had. Like even the things like um, the really subtle things like um, when uh, Mordecai, which we've just learned what his name was, was kind of annoyed when he was sort of when he ended up kind of not taking that shot with the pistol at the end there yeah. he had that kind of ear twitch and that's actually like a very cat like thing when a cat is annoyed it does actually do like ear twitches like that there's a if if you are familiar with cats if you're familiar yeah, with cats a lot of their behavior is very cattish which is really well done yeah, yeah personality it really fitting like one of them suddenly one of them suddenly becoming a complete psycho given the right circumstances which cats will do i can testify as being a cat owner yeah, yeah, I mean, thing, like, <laughs> when the cats had some cat nip. <laughs> Yeah, all cute and nice, and then suddenly they become absolute psychos. And then also the thing with the water tower as well. Mm. But they all backed away like suddenly, like. Yeah. But I mean, you, you know what I mean? I can see why they went with cats to represent this whole, you know, this whole side of, you know, the shady side of the law, because cats are, you know, they're very elusive and stealthy and agile kind of creatures. So I can see why they chose that. I think also it is like, it's like, it's literally a cat bite. Well, I think yeah. it's a bit more serious than a yeah, cat yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's literally cats fighting, so, yeah. you yeah. know, it kind of, in that regard. But it's like, they're also the... They, they, yeah, you, They've definitely set something up very interesting. Like character wise, they've set up an interesting set of characters. Yeah. It's set in an interesting time. It's a really pretty kind of like the way they've drawn the, the various landscapes and stuff. It's a ve it's a very pretty thing. So that, in a kind of frame, though. the first couple of frames or well the first minute, that mm. was beautiful. I, oh yeah. Some of those back back, back, some of that stuff I could have as my back back because I have like a litmus test for how good animation is if it's something i want to have as a background to my um pc <clears> like 
that is something that I consider really well done mm. because it's something that I could, if you could take a still from it and it looks mm. gorgeous enough to have as your background hand on the PC, then that is a job well done. Oh, yeah. Especially if people, oh, I want that for my background. That's I will the- say thematically as well, it, maybe it's just me putting, you know, just a simple two and two together. You know, the the, the idea of these cats, you know, they you know, they're, you know, being sort of gang members and, you know, you know, being part of a jazz band in their spare time, whatever. Do you, the first, the, the weird thing is, the first thing it reminded me of is, I don't know if either of you remember the Disney movie, The Aristocats. I, um, I think yeah. that, that, that street gang of cats that were jazz players and gang members. And... Well, the, like fat cats is also the uh, term as well. Isn't yeah, it? I, I might be thinking a, of, um, I, I might be thinking of a different film, to be honest. I, I was... Like I was thinking of another cat-related film, except it was about a kitten that got lost in, I think, New York. But I, I think that's it. I know the one you're on. Oh, yeah, right. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't was, think. I mean, that, was, that was literally a parody of Oliver Twist. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. So kind of, kind of different. Of cats being in. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not saying so. it's one on one. It was just uh, I noticed. You know, it was the first thing it reminded me of. Anyway. I think. Uh, how long have we been going on? For? Um, prob- think, probably but... a bit too long because we're we're yeah, expert probably... ramblers at this point. But I mean, yeah, we've probably been going on for longer than the actual reaction. Mate, this is nothing new. My live yeah. streams go on for four for hours, and I try and do them for two. So. Yeah, watch his live streams. <laughs> well, actually, 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 yeah, that's that's, that's that's a good point. Yeah, watch watch Matt's live streams. I will also hopefully. Um, as long as the tech issues that I'm currently dealing with, with actually accessing the the the, the account for the channel, is yeah. uh, solved, I'll be doing yeah, a stream on Wednesday that. of the upcoming uh, the upcoming game Honkai Star Rail. Um, so if you're interested in that at all, um, look forward to that, I guess. But um, I normally stream on whatever days I can do, but Thursdays around about ten or eleven is when I normally do them on yeah. Thursday. You'll you'll genuine. see an announcement either way, as long as you uh, you know subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon or whatever it is that nowadays to Please, to notify. Dying, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and remember to select the bell icon and select all notifications because from yeah. what I understand, there's actually two options now, and one which is like some notifications and all notifications. Choose the all notifications that, one. Why are we deliberately going out there <laughs> before we go any further? No, it's just annoying because like why. Like, subscribe should be notify me, not sometimes notify me if there are even things here. And then there's another one where, oh, are you sure you want to be notified? And it's like, oh, you really want to be notified. It's like- I, I get the feeling we could we could um, complain about how YouTube does things till the cows came home or till the cats came home, I suppose. But um, I, I think I think in the interest of I think in the interest of time and uh, actually ending this bloody video, um, I'm just going to do our yeah. outro. So as usual, my name is Skybound. And tip top. And we will see you. And we will see you next time. Next we'll time. probably see you in a few weeks. We've got rumours. We've had word that maybe the next Hell of a Boss episode might be coming out in the next few weeks. So we may see you then. Ooh, yeah, see exciting. you the next we see you, wherever it happens to be, and how long the videos we're going to upload are going to be. We don't know when they're going to get uploaded. We don't know how long they're going to be. We don't even know when yeah. we're doing the streams yeah. all the time. We don't think it's out of chaos. Yeah, anyway. Online. See you later. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Bye.